Hey friends, welcome back. So when it comes to whey protein, there's a few different sources out there. There's whey protein isolates and there's whey protein concentrates. Of course, I'm biased because at Myoscience, we offer a whey protein concentrate and I wanna just help you better understand the differences so that you can make a better purchase decision, whether it's with our product or another company's product. So let's just talk about what a concentrate is versus an isolate. So the whey protein isolates are stripped down of all the beneficial aminoglobulins and growth factors that in my opinion make whey protein so unique and special because we generally recommend this as a post-workout or to supplement your diet um, you know so that you're getting more growth factors more amino acids and to help you optimize your post-exercise recovery and to get more good growth factors in there so that's kind of the what makes whey isolates different is it's it's really stripped down it's purified i don't want to say it's like an amino acid complex but it's really it, it, there are no beneficial aminoglobulins. And so the whey protein concentrates, in contrast to the isolates, have those protective and immune supportive aminoglobulins in addition to all the beneficial branched chain amino acids, the high leucine content, and the sulfur, um, you know, kind of the glutathione precursors that make the whey protein concentrate so unique. Now, what's unique about the Myoscience whey protein concentrate? is it's derived from 100% pasture-raised and grass-fed cattle that are never given antibiotics and growth hormone, things along those lines. So these are free-range pasture-raised cattle in New Zealand. Interestingly, I've been a huge fan of this raw material long before I even started Myoscience. So I've been personally taking this exact product since 2010. It's an awesome product. Super excited to now offer it to you. Now you might notice the price point is a little bit different than what you're used to if you're buying just a domestic off-the-shelf whey protein, okay, because you're getting really whey protein from feedlot cattle who are not fed grass. They're probably given antibiotics and growth hormone and they're eating grains. And so you're really, it's like you're paying a premium for something that is what I consider to be world-class. So keep that in mind. You know, you get what you pay for. Now, my recommendation to you is if you're not going to use our product and you're getting just a conventional product, you probably just want to get the whey protein isolate and you're not getting the growth factors, you're not getting those beneficial immune supportive health benefits, but at least it's, it's relatively stripped down. And so because those cattle were probably not grass fed, pasture raised and all that, you know, at least you're gonna minimize your exposure to unwanted compounds. So hopefully that helps you in this, you know, the benefits of whey protein are, your, it's a very fast digesting protein. And in contrast to when you eat say eggs and um, you know, other animal derived products, meat, beef, things like that. Those are slow digestive proteins. So they're slowly absorbed. One's not necessarily better than the other, but I think it's good to get a mix in your diet of both fast and slow digesting proteins. Many studies have actually kind of looked at this. And as we age, that can help us to maximize muscle protein synthesis and post-exercise recovery. Also these proteins, because of the concentrated thick nature of them, they make amazing desserts. And so as a customer, with every shipment, we send you new recipe ideas to mix in, say, avocado with whey protein and also um, some coconut oil, things like that, mix it with collagen. It tastes amazing and it's a nice treat that you can look forward to that's also health promoting. So I appreciate you tuning into these videos. Hopefully that will help you in your decision and we'll catch you on a future episode down the road.